So we begin today with a picture of Caleb Williams just absolutely getting pummeled. I mean, flat out pummeled by a Houston Texan. I have to tell you, North America, this did not surprise me at all. Nor did it surprise me that Trevor Lawrence had a quarterback completion percentage over the weekend of 46.7%. I told you, North America, two years ago that Trevor Lawrence was trash. Now, in terms of Caleb Williams and the Chicago Bears, I actually, believe it or not, feel bad for Caleb Williams. I do not understand why Shane Waldron, the offensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears, continues to believe that his offensive line, that five guys at the offensive line are somehow going to be able to protect poor Caleb Williams. Williams dropped back to pass 36 times on Sunday, and I swear he would he had pressure at least 34 of those times. Look, ultimately, you can't put all of the blame on Shane Waldron, but if you wanted to, you certainly could put at least 80 to 90% of it. Is it not the offensive coordinator's job to actually work with all of the players on the offense to actually make sure they are ready to go? Now, offensive line issues aside, Caleb Williams does have some if you will, mechanical problems. Now, we're not going to get into any of the technical uh, issues related to his throwing motion. I'm going to leave that completely alone because what I noticed and caught on tape as well is the real problem that Caleb Williams is actually happening when he's out there just flat out running for his life, and it is his footwork. His footwork is what caused him to actually have a couple of those passes towards the end of the game against the Texans that actually sailed on him like a Trevor Lawrence pass to a wide receiver who's wide open, but Trevor decides to miss him by 10 yards. Look, that is exactly the problem with Caleb Williams. Go back, watch the tape. You will see the footwork problems that Caleb Williams is actually having at this point. Now, can the Chicago Bears get this fixed? Well, Shane Waldron, if you actually do the right thing and go to a double tight end set or keep a running back with a tight end back to actually help protect Caleb Williams, you know, he's your franchise quarterback, the only quarterback that apparently the Chicago Bears have actually had over the last 50 years that they actually truly care about. Apologies, Jim McMahon. That that is that where we're at? It look, if you want Caleb Williams to survive in the National Football League, let alone through week five of the NFL season, then Shane Waldron is going to have to mix up his protections. And when I say mix up his protections, I mean actually create some protections that actually provide actual protection for Caleb Williams.